Roddy? Yes. Hi, Kevin Blatch. I'm here for the 106th anniversary of the Shirtwaist Fire. This is a real powerful event. I travel all over the world as an activist, you know. This is my favorite event. This is the most powerful event. And as you see, when they went to the shirts, with, just a few years ago when they did that, they had changed this event. It became so emotional and personal. But see, in 1911, this is real, by the way. This is real. It was made right here. It's very real. And so in 1911, when they, this happened, there was an ambulance chaser. We actually had a media. And it got into the soul and the conscious of the American psychic, and they gave a shit. Obviously, no one cares anymore because this happens in Bangladesh, this happens in India, this happens in Mexico, this happens in San Paulo, this happens in the Central Valley of California. I just left there. There are slave camps in the Central Valley of California today. Shh, don't tell anybody. We're designers. Your highest designer to your lowest Walmart is being made by slaves. We take a hot light, we stand in Times Square and we take a hot light over your brand new garments. There are blood in brand new garments from the highest designer to the lowest Walmart. They're made at the same place, just a different tag. But then we cared when these girls passed away, well, they were murdered. It was legal to lock them in. It still is, and you don't care. It's still legal to lock them in. In Bangladesh, in India, in Vietnam, in Sao Paulo. So, Wake up, start caring, stop consuming this stuff. Stop consuming, buy retro. Buy old, like I said, oh, they don't make quality stuff? This was made in 1915. Same old thing, 1960, with their tanks and their bombs and their guns. So I'll be here for a few days. I got my signs, I have extra signs for Stop the War Pigs. So thanks for holding the camera for me.